Hello, this is Josep Dalmau and I'm here to introduce our manuscript allosteric modulation of NMDA receptors prevents the antibody effects of patients with anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. As you know, this is a severe disease with an acute phase that usually requires intensive care support and then there is a very prolonged phase of recovery here that usually associates with executive dysfunction, memory problems and some sleep dysfunction also. Patients are treated with immune therapy or tumor removal when it applies, but it would be of great interest to find an additional treatment to accelerate the recovery of these patients, particularly if the drug can be given um, systemically and cross the blood-brain barrier. Keeping this in mind, we uh, explore the possibility of positive allosteric modulators of the NMDA receptors uh, as a potential treatment for NMDA receptor encephalitis. In particular, we pay attention to SAGE301, a synthetic analog of 24-hydroxycholesterol that acts as a potent and selective positive allosteric modulator of NMDA receptors. In cultures of neurons, it prevented the NMDA receptor dysfunction caused by patient CSF antibodies. In addition, an advantage of this drug is that it is optimized for systemic delivery, such as plasma and brain exposures are sufficient to modulate NMDA receptor activity. To test if this drug could be potentially useful for this disease, we use our animal model of passive transfer of patient CSF antibodies using osmotic pumps connected to a cerebroventricular system of mice. During 14 days, the CSF are infused in the ventricular system and during 26 days, these animals are followed and memory and other behaviors are um, recorded. Using this model, patients' antibodies cause a reversible uh, internalization of NMDA receptors associated with decrease of long-term potentiation and also a severe uh, decrease of memory function. Therefore, we use this model uh, in four different groups of animals. Animals that receive patient CSF or control CSF with or without the drug. And then these animals were tested for 26 days and behaviorally and memory and other tests. And on day 18, which is the time in that uh, in this model animals have more deficits, the brains were collected and uh, examined. The studies shown here show that patients' uh, CSF uh, antibodies cause a substantial decrease of an MDA receptors compared compare with control CSF. But this effect, uh, this appear, was prevented actually when animals received SAGE301, as shown here. And the same uh, effect was observed when we uh, examined synaptic and MDA receptors. Acute brain slices for Mice infused with patients or control CSF and treated uh, with SAGE301 or with a control drug were used to record field oxidatory postsynaptic potentials in the CA1 region of the hippocampus. Animals infused with patient CSF showed a significant reduction of long-term potentiation, as shown here, compared with animals that were treated with control CSF, which is the graphed here in light green. However, when animals received the patient CSF but also were treated subcutaneously with the drug, with SAGE301, these effects were prevented, as shown here in blue. When we examined the memory effects uh, of the antibodies, we saw the expected decrease of memory but animals that received the same patient CSF and were treated with the drug have no uh, alteration of memory. Actually, these animals were similar as the control groups that received or did not receive the drug. In summary, we show that a positive allosteric modulator of the NMDA receptor is able to antagonize all pathogenic effects of patients' antibodies in our model. You will find in the manuscript additional studies using cultures of neurons showing some of the mechanisms related to this therapeutic effect. Future studies should investigate whether other symptoms of the disease are also improved and whether the drug is able to accelerate the recovery once symptoms have developed. Thank you very much.